Huawei, the company at the very heart of the U.S.-China tech war, has just hit another monumental milestone. For the fourth consecutive quarter, its Harmony OS has surpassed Apple's iOS in market share within China, officially becoming the country's second-largest smartphone operating system, trailing only Google's Android. Back in August 2023, the release of the Huawei Mate 60 Pro represented a hardware breakthrough, shattering the barricades of U.S. chip sanctions. Now, with Harmony OS overtaking iOS, Huawei has torn through another blockade set up by the United States, this time on the software front. That's a dual breakthrough on both hardware and software achieved in less than two years. This isn't just a miracle for Huawei. It's the perfect response to America's long-arm jurisdiction and technological bullying. First, let's look at the latest numbers from a leading international research firm. According to a new report from CounterPoint Research, as of Q4 2024, Android dominates the global market with a 74% share. Harmony OS's global market share, by contrast, holds steady at 4%. However, when we zoom in on China, the world's most critical battleground, the picture changes dramatically. Fueled by strong sales of its new products, Harmony OS's market share in China has surged to an astonishing 19%. This not only solidifies its position as China's second largest OS, but also marks its sustained lead over Apple's iOS for four straight quarters. Now, some of you might be thinking, it's just 19% market share. What's the big deal? But in the brutally competitive world of operating systems, that 19% figure hides a little known threshold between life and death. There's a widely recognized iron law in the OS industry. A 16% market share is the tipping point that determines whether a platform survives or dies. If you look at every successful operating system in history, for both phones and PCs, they all had to cross this threshold to survive. Why? Because only after crossing this line do you have a large enough installed base to attract developers and build an ecosystem, creating a virtuous cycle. Fall below that number, and developers will stay away due to low returns. Without a rich selection of apps, users will leave in droves, leading to a vicious death spiral. And Huawei's Harmony OS, under the harshest US sanctions imaginable, has successfully crossed that line of survival. And in the year since, it has continued to widen its lead. This proves it hasn't just survived, it's thriving. This isn't just a victory for Huawei. It's the ultimate testament to the resilience and rise of China's entire tech sector in the face of adversity. It's a declaration that Harmony OS is no longer a brand propped up by patriotic sentiment or a special product sheltered by sanctions. It has genuinely emerged from the crucible of the market, earning user trust through hardcore performance. The success of Harmony OS in China offers a crucial insight. When facing Western technological blockades and the threat of supply chain decoupling, China possesses a massive advantage that no one else can match, its own enormous and dynamic domestic market. China is the world's largest smartphone market and also the world's largest automotive market. Both of these are the most critical gateways in the era of the Internet of Everything. A market of this sheer scale provides the most fertile soil and abundant nutrients for a domestic operating system to grow. It's like a game of Go. Harmony OS first secured its footing in the corner of the domestic market, accumulating experience and strength. The massive user base in China provides the most authentic and richest data and feedback for Harmony OS to optimize and evolve continuously. Once it has also solidified its position along the sides of the domestic board, Harmony OS will have a much stronger foundation to compete. At that point, leveraging its success and technical know-how from the home market, launching an offensive into the center of the global market is no longer a distant dream. Some may worry about its adaptability and competitiveness overseas, but if we look at the history of many Chinese brands like Xiaomi and Oppo, we see a clear pattern. If you become strong enough at home, opportunities abroad will always arise. In the OS arena, the core of the competition is the ecosystem, the richness of its app library. This was once the soft underbelly of Harmony OS, the point its critics always attacked. Those who bet against Harmony OS always use the difficulty of building an ecosystem as their central argument. However, Huawei countered those doubts with two brilliant strategies. First, innovation in its business model. For years, Chinese app developers have been at the mercy of Apple's iOS and Google's Android, forced to pay exorbitant revenue shares. 
Apple takes a 30% cut, while Android's distribution channels in China can demand fees as high as 50%, far exceeding international standards. This model has been a nightmare for developers, squeezing their profits and stifling innovation. Huawei, in contrast, set its in-app purchase commission at a relatively low 20%. This was undeniably a massive draw for app makers. Once Harmony OS crossed that 16% threshold, more and more developers saw Huawei's commitment and the platform's potential, flocking to the Harmony ecosystem. It's a win-win, and it's a clever way to attack from a different angle, using a business model revolution to break a technical barrier. Second, the grand vision of an internet of everything. The ultimate goal of Harmony OS isn't just smartphones. It's to build a seamless, intelligent, and efficient ecosystem connecting all devices. This is its huge advantage and what fundamentally distinguishes it from Android and iOS. Both Android and iOS have tried to enter the IoT space but have faced significant challenges, failing to achieve true interconnectivity. Apple, in particular, announced in March that it was abandoning its self-driving car project, effectively withdrawing from the competition on what many consider the beachhead of the Internet of Everything. Huawei, on the other hand, is deeply invested in this area, holds a leading global position in smart driving technology, and has vast prospects. In the new battleground of smart vehicles, Huawei's only likely rival is Android. Apple is already out of the race. The truth is, before Harmony OS, other tech giants have tried to conquer the world of interconnected electronics, and most have failed. In the late 1990s, the legendary Sun Microsystems, the company behind its own Sun Solaris OS and the Java programming language, ambitiously aimed to put Java on every electronic device, fulfilling the dream of write once, run anywhere. At the time, even the control program for NASA's Mars rover was written in Java. Sun was on top of the world, and Microsoft felt an unprecedented threat, even developing its own embedded OS, Windows CE, to compete. But sadly, before the true titans of electronic operating systems emerged, both Microsoft's Windows CE and Sun's Java platform were just fleeting passers-by. They failed. They couldn't even make a dent. So, can Huawei's Harmony OS succeed where they failed? That will come down to capability. History teaches us that ambition and technology aren't enough. You also need a mature environment. And today, China provides exactly that unique environment. The rise of Harmony OS is not just a reflection of its own strength, but an inevitable outcome of our era. When Japan briefly took the lead in AI and robotics in the late 1980s, it was only because the United States had not yet fully entered the game. Today, however, with a powerful competitor like China, Japan's brief lead vanished like a flash in the pan, ceding the stage to the US and China. And as the global race for AI and the Internet of Everything officially kicks off, we see that the country with the most diverse and competitive product lines in the electronics field is, in fact, China. Currently, more than 900 million devices are running Harmony OS. Even more exciting, Huawei has announced that its brand new operating system, Harmony OS Next, has entered beta testing for developers and is scheduled for a full commercial launch in the fourth quarter of this year. This version is built on Huawei's own kernel and will no longer be compatible with Android apps. This signals that Huawei has made up its mind to completely break free from its dependence on the Android ecosystem and carve out a world that is truly its own. This is a journey fraught with challenges, but the success of Harmony OS so far gives us plenty of confidence. It proves that under the immense pressure of deglobalization and technological hegemony, self-reliance and indigenous innovation are not just paths to survival. They are the road to the future. The rise of Harmony OS is the most powerful and profound response to those who try to contain China's technological development through sanctions. It tells the world that a blockade will only ignite a stronger will to live, and that innovation can never be locked down by any force. All right, that's all for today's video. What do you think? Will Harmony OS succeed in the overseas market? Can it become a true third global operating system? Leave your thoughts in the comments below, and let's discuss.